Hello? Hi. Come on in. Doors open. Take a seat, except for the head. The head of the table's mine. Technically, there's two heads, but... You want something to eat? Sure. So I'm gonna guess you know, uh... Well, I brought you here. I have a few guesses. There you go. Just, uh... It's gotten awfully, uh... Awfully cold. And then, in hell? Just wondering if, uh, you knew anything about that. Do you remember me? Yeah. Been a while. It, it really has. That's why I'm not saying it was you. I'm just saying it's gotten awfully cold. No, it was me. Is there any way to stop, stop it? Yeah. Because you're threatening the life of the things in hell by making it colder and colder and colder. We're not used to it. Yeah, there is a way to stop it. But I can't. You made a machine that you can't stop. I... I can stop it. I'm not going to. And why is that? I'm... I'm sorry, Shavir. I really am. I, I know this is not something you want to hear, and it's not something that you deserve, but... Or, I shouldn't have to... I'm messing up my words. I wish the situation never happened, but it is all that I am able to do right now. Mm -hmm. So you're threatening the life of everything. I am changing the degrees by minuscule amounts. I'm trying to save the lives of everyone I know. Even a minuscule amount is enough to kill things. <laughs> You know what makes poison poison? Yeah. The level that is acceptable. Do you bring it too high? Do you bring it to that point, then it turns into poison. Tomatoes are poisonous. Bananas are poisonous. Changing the hell by a few degrees is life-threatening. Or possibly life-threatening. And the closer you get to it, it gets colder. Do you know how hard it is to relocate so many things? Have you ever lost someone? Quite a few people. I had a grandson. A grandson? He was... <laughs> he was this short little thing tiny, wonderful eyes looked at the world with wonder. And he's dead. Trashy pushed him onto the withering and killed him. Shavir, I would not do this if this was literally the only option I had left. This is all we have to survive. The gods have abandoned us. It, we are forced, we are facing the horsemen of the apocalypse. And I'm sure you'd know plenty of how strong they are. I know a little bit of it. Don't be modest. Conquest. I... If I could do anything to save this world but not have blood on my hands or make sure that no one got hurt in the process, understand I would do it in a heartbeat. But I will gladly do what I can to save the people I love. And I will make sure that they don't have to feel the guilt that I do. That is admirable. As 
I would do the same. And I will have to do the same. I know. Now, is there a way to contain your machine? Contain the cold to make it livable for me and bearable for everyone else in hell? I could work on it. Oh. Glad it was uh, somewhat of a peaceful talk. Mm. Except for the people upstairs. They're a bit too loud, weren't they? No, no, it's just... I've gotten a lot better at seeing things recently. Mm. So then you saw why I called you here. I forgive you. Well, I would quite like this uh, abode to stay. It's somewhat of a neutral ground. It's a new design. Well, I won't break a single block. I promise you that. Shall we uh, step outside and invite the others upstairs to join us? Why not? Right. That is not the type of. Uh, well, that is I not mean, the type of plan you we had agreed stairs, to. but fuck it, yeah, sure. I was stairs. Sorry, Mister Altray. You never learn, do you? What happened the last two times you tried this? You have nowhere to go, and you're all alone. Hmm. <laughs> I have everywhere. Ambush? Are you <laughs> stupid? Jesus. Oh.
Come on, what do you have anymore? Where's your backup? Where's your allies? Where's your armor? I have enough. Yeah. You know what? You ran away once. I think I'll do the same. Bye. Good thing I had a backup plan. Yeah.